Wintry weather is on the way to impact the weekend, mainly Saturday extending into early Sunday morning. Winter weather advisory will go in place at 9 a.m. Saturday morning, then lasting until noon on Sunday. Winter storm warning to the south and southeast, just stretching from Waterloo all the way into uh, the Chicagoland area and eventually into Indiana. The reason why, even though we end up seeing snowfall mainly overnight Saturday into Sunday, the reason why the winter weather advisory begins at 9 a.m. is because we have the threat for some freezing drizzle, maybe a chance for a light glaze of ice on some surfaces through Saturday late morning into Saturday early afternoon. So here's what we know. Timing hasn't changed, at least for snowfall wise, still remains Saturday night extending into early Sunday morning. The thing that has evolved a little bit is the chance for the minor mixing late Saturday morning because we're so saturated down towards the surface. We won't necessarily be dealing with snowfall, but we're still saturated, so we have the chance for some freezing drizzle. Some questions we still need to ha have answered the amount of ice totals. I think the ice totals will stay well less than a tenth of an inch of ice for at least areas along into the north of I-90, could be more farther south. I do think the track of at least the low pressure stays pretty consistent as of now, keeping us in about that two to four inch rain range for snowfall. So here's what we're looking at snowfall wise. The heaviest accumulations, notice the darker colors, mainly eastern Iowa and then extending into north central Illinois and towards Chicago. Now we're going to overlay this with the ice potential that we have coming up through Saturday. Notice where the bulk of the ice accumulations would fall well to the south of I-90. So again, once once again, right through Waterloo into Des Moines and then eventually towards Davenport. I think that's where the bulk of the ice accumulations take place at, along with some snowfall as well. Some pr pretty treacherous type conditions to the south of I-90. So as we time out the minor mixing, we deal with that freezing drizzle by about noon to two to even four o'clock. So we could potentially deal with some travel impacts by that point in time. Widespread snow starts anywhere from about seven to eight o'clock in the evening. I think it will happen quickly too because we are saturated down towards the surface. As we move through the overnight hours, then snow will continue. Wind gusts upwards of 20 to 25 miles per hour. I don't think uh, Travel conditions will necessarily be impacted by wind in the actual Rochester metro area, so within in the city limits. But once we get into rural areas, blowing and drifting snow could potentially be an issue in some isolated areas. Then we just deal with some lingering flurries as we move towards early Sunday morning. So we're timing things out here in future track. We're quiet tonight. Deal with some cloudy skies, strong easterly winds. We pick up some moisture, maybe some flurries possible uh, to at least the west of I-35. As we move through the afternoon, this is when I think we deal with some very light freezing drizzle. Notice freezing rain, rain snow mix to the south near I-80. As we continue to move through, eventually pick up some moisture and we are able to overcome maybe a pocket of dry air in the atmosphere for snowfall making it all the way down to the ground. This is 7, 8 o'clock Saturday evening. Continue to move through Saturday night then into early Sunday morning. Just some flurries then by about 7, 7.30 and then we're quiet as we move through the rest of the day on Sunday. Snowfall amounts haven't changed much. Still looking at about two to four inches of snowfall possible for Rochester in most of southeast Minnesota. Some portions of northeast Iowa upwards of three to five Osage, Cresco, Decorah, Charles City. The heaviest amounts again remaining through Des Moines into Davenport and then eventually into Illinois. Lighter accumulations Zambroda, Red Wing, Owatonna about one to three inches of snow possible there. So recapping. Saturday afternoon, we'll deal with a minor glaze of ice potentially on some untreated surfaces, a little bit of a rain snow mix. Overnight then is when we get the bulk of our snowfall accumulations, looking at about two to four inches of snow. So just be smart out there on the roadways. A couple wind gusts possible upwards of about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tonight right now we're at 22 degrees. Winds are out of the east. We stay at about 23 for those lows saying we actually pick up temperatures a little bit this evening dealing with some cloudy skies this weekend 31 for the high Saturday so we're close to freezing that's why we could deal with the chance for a rain snow mix accumulations about two to four inches seven day forecast next week tracking another weather maker Wednesday into Thursday with temperatures remaining in those mid to upper 20s Mark. Up next in sports, the Golden Gopher hockey team was back in action today. Find out how they did against Ohio State next. Plus, the 